really taken advantage of a good homestand. And this, this is a good move for the Mets having Tom Glavin be able to pitch against the Brewers first game in, although as you mentioned earlier, Teddy struggled against the Brewers last year. But he's one of the Mets stoppers. Liner to Matsui, a little top spin on that. Off the bat of Helms, one away, let's go to Matt Lockett. All right, Ted, I'm out here in the uh, bleachers with a group of very special student athletes from Long Island, all part of the Mets Sharp Electronics Student Leadership Program. Tim McHugh is from Chaminade High School, and uh, Tim, the Mets and Sharp have combined on this program for many years now. What's it all about? Well, basically, it's a program aimed at teaching elementary school students uh, positive morals and values. And uh, we as student athlete leaders, we go to the elementary schools and uh, relate stories and uh, uh, positive values that we learned from sports and convey them to them so that hopefully by the time they're in high school they uh, have a solid base. Well, Tim uh, played basketball, was on the crew team, and uh, maybe headed to Holy Cross. Might change his mind, but Holy Cross is perhaps in his future. Cindy Dobb is also part of the program. She's from Oyster Bay High School. Uh, why is it important? It's important because you really get a chance to reach out to the younger students and teach them some of the values that really stick with you all throughout your whole life. Um, it's a great program. I'm very proud to be a part of it. I really am. All right, now you're going to Salisbury. You're going to play some softball. You play softball. You play volleyball. You play basketball at Oyster Bay. Talk about how you felt throwing out the honorary first pitch. So intense. I was overwhelmed. It's like a big blur. It, <laughs> it was crazy. It was the most, the most fun I probably have ever had in my life. Did you have to take a deep breath, though, before you do? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Definitely. 60 feet, 6 inches a little farther when everyone's looking at you than you think, right? Oh, yeah, it is. It was great, though. Well, Cindy, congratulations on all you've done in high school. Best of luck in college. Tim, the same to you. And, uh, fellas, back to you guys. All right, Matt. Well, did you notice how well-spoken that young man Tim McHugh was? from Chaminade High School? Yeah, absolutely. No surprise. Chaminade You grad. went there. Of course. But the standards weren't I, as high I didn't, when I'll you tell went you, there, I, right? Exactly. I didn't speak nearly as well as Tim did when, <laughs> I, was, when I was a student there but, back 73 look, years ago. She did a nice job throwing out that first ball. Davis fouls it. Two strikes. She threw a strike to Mike Piazza. It's a nice program they have. That is good. Good to see a lot of youngsters here. And <laughs> I would assume we'll see a lot of kids here in the next two days when uh, the weather is supposed to be nice for the weekend. Tomorrow it's uh, Cliff Floyd jerseys to be given out to youngsters before the uh, day game here against the Brewers. That's the ball to Davis, two and two. Oh, didn't you see me? I was awesome, man. They showed me on TV. <laughs> if only she knew she's on TV mm -hmm. right now, making a call. Ooh. Oh, man, look at that. Doug Davis is going to love the feeling of that. Just completely saws off Wigginton. 